and welcome to Life Change Community. Tis the season to be jolly. It's also the season to be melancholy. Both are true in this season of gift giving and the need to do some gift buying. With economics as they are, do you feel the tension in that? We certainly need to receive and yet we also have a need to give, which means to buy, which means to spend. And the stress of being able to afford that this year for many of us is pretty intense. The Bible says it's better to give than to receive, but we want to give something that doesn't cost because that hurts. Today, I received a couple birthday cards, and inside those, I had a little bit of money given as gifts. It was so nice, and it was so needed. It was daily life, groceries, that kind of thing. A little over a week ago, a dear friend made it possible financially for me to get through this season and squeak by with bills paid. It's remarkable, really. The generosity of people has touched my heart in profound ways. There's two sides of that coin. I've never been so poverty stricken. I've never been so desperate. Even as an 18, 19, 20 year old college student, I had never worried about checks bouncing. Never worried about juggling it all so that, you know, I pay bills when they'll get there just on time and clear the bank just on time and have the stress. What if it doesn't all work out? Never had that stress until now. I'm almost 50 years old. And I can bemoan the fact that economically I'm in as bad of a position as I've ever been in my life. But then I see God's provision. And that is equally true. Birthday money in the mail. My birthday couldn't have come at a better time this year. And then this friend who had it on this person's heart to make a donation that helped. Wow. It's amazing to me what God does when we're fully dependent upon him. Being dependent means that typically circumstances are beyond our control and beyond our ability to use our strength and our resources to meet the need. That's the downside. The upside is we see God work. We get to choose what we focus on, the bad or the good, the lack or God's provision. Today, not super spiritual, but today I'm choosing to be thankful. I'm choosing to look at the ways God provides. Steady, just enough, daily bread, like manna from heaven, he met my needs today. And that